What if the, view, the viewers of North South Connection were watching a video about what ifs? My God, my head is blown. Hey, what do you do? You ever sit at night and like just like get really sad at the fact that one day your kids are not going to live at home? <laughs> That's my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, right now it is. Um, <laughs> but what if they don't move out? <laughs> what if? If they stay here forever and we have yeah. a party. <laughs> Possible. Uh, anyway, this is the What If series, a no-holds barred special edition on North South Connection, video only exclusive. So tell your friends, if they aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel, they should do it right now by this hitting that button. This is the reason. For the season. Yeah, I'm wearing a tight shirt. My hair's out of control. Like, you don't get this on the regular feed. No, no. No way. I wear hats, and then Jenny gets mad at me, you know? Look. Mm, why are you wearing a hat? <laughs> this, uh, where are we at? What if? Oh, uh, anyway, we do this, like, three Wednesdays a month, pretty much, right now. So, you yeah. can just, you'll see a drop, usually about three Wednesdays. If there's a Wednesday it doesn't drop, figure you may get three in a row after that. How about that? <laughs> yeah, or that means something else came along. <laughs> yeah. I mean, GC Dub usually airs on Wednesday, so we're preempted oh, yeah. once a month for that, which is a great podcast by Jenny and Matt Souza going exactly. through uh, live notes and uh, the current goings on and Game Changer Wrestling, which, by the way, this is going to be airing quite a bit afterward, I think. But recently, when we were in Detroit for SummerSlam, uh, Jeff Hardy showed up at GC Dub, and we were front row. And uh, as he was leaving, he went out the opposite way, and I, you could tell he was going to come around. And I called security. It was like two guys are like, oh, stand back, stand back. I'm like, I'm not missing this chance. So I had my camera ready on the selfie mode. And as soon as he came around that corner, I popped up, put the camera up. Nice. And he did a cool pose. And it was an all time moment for me. Hardy as a big that's Hardy a, boys mark. And that's a big star. Oh, right? yeah. Like, like, like we, 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 we forget how big a star Jeff Hardy was for a period. I mean, still is, right. but yeah. Oh, big time. And uh, his promo was cool. Like he was in the ring with uh, Nick Gage and talking about, um, you know, how he's basically blowing a lot of chances and AEW is giving him like one more chance and he's going to make it count. And he thanks all the fans for support. Like it was a cool little moment, nice. um, you know, as, as a Hardy Boy Mark. fan all these years, I've always wanted to. Yes, Mark. Mark. Yep. Uh, you know, you, you want him to both be ha happy and healthy, right? More than anything else. Um, mm. So. We'll start calling no. you MT. Keep waiting. Keep waiting for that. <laughs> I keep waiting for that day to uh, to hit MT. Um, all right, let's talk. What if? So tonight's what if is mm. from our buddy Rick Willard, big fan oh, of the big Rick. Action. Yeah, big Rick, which we appreciate, and of course appreciate all of our viewers and listeners that submit questions. So if you're watching this, you have some ideas for what if. Put it in the comments. And we will definitely uh, read them. So we've already done a few. from. Yeah, and a big thanks to Rick, too, because Rick often just will send me stuff out of the blue, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. Get me thinking about stuff. And always a great conversation with that dude, too. Faux show. All right. Uh, his question tonight, Aaron. What if Hulk Hogan won at WrestleMania 6? Terrible question. Um, Awful question, Rick. No, I'm just kidding. It's good. Um, so the first instinct is to say, like, nothing changes. Right? Is that your first instinct too? I mean, when we, yeah. When I read it, I thought about it and I'm like, okay, so he's championed again within a year. Mm -hmm. He made events pretty much SummerSlam anyway. Yeah. He's in, in a, you know, he's in a feud with the top heel already, an earthquake. Yeah. That's um, the, I see it. My, my question becomes is that, is that like, let's say Hogan wins that belt. Does he keep his same trajectory or do they, do they basically swap positions? Yeah. Um, because I think the problem with the warrior run, well, I mean, there's lots of it, but the big problem is that there's no heels left for him to beat. Right. Right. Like Hogan gets perfect. He perfect loses to beefcake at 90, right? Mm -hmm. At six. And then Hogan destroys him on Saturday night's main event. Right. Yeah. That pretty much just ends his main event run. Right? Yeah. There's no reason for that. And then Hogan gets earthquake, but I think there's probably something interesting about a Hulk Hogan, Rick rude match at SummerSlam. I don't think it happens. You don't think, I think, I think it's it, Hogan earthquake. You don't think they'd maybe switch them? Like, Nope. You nope. think earthquake? I, I, just I, yeah. 
I think they saw Hogan as bigger anyway, so that's why he got Quake. Yeah. So I think you still get Hogan Earthquake. I, I don't think that changes anything. I, I think I don't know if you get Warrior Rude. I think they only hot, they heated Rude up just because they needed Warrior. someone for Rude to feud with. Like that's it. I mean, for a Warrior to feud with. So that's the only reason they cut his hair and, and reboot him, even after Warrior had already beaten him and he hadn't done much sense. Mm. Uh, I think Warrior. Warrior. I don't know. Like, yeah, does he stick around? Um, I, I think it's more likely he ends up in a in a thicker feud with LOD and Demolition, like the mm-hmm. three way thing. But Perfect. SummerSlam is the big gap for Warrior because Demolition like crushes and LOD's just debuted. Demolition had the belt, so they had to lose them, so they weren't going to really be in a six man at SummerSlam. Probably. I wonder if if Warrior loses. Um. Does so he loses the intercontinental title? Yeah, no so matter, I guess they right, they're still gonna do the tournament. We gotta sort that out, and I think perfect will still win it. I'm curious if Warrior if Hogan doesn't lose that match, does he beat perfect at yeah. Saturday night's main event? No, or he doesn't have to. Right, Hogan doesn't have to, right? Perfect still wins the IC belt. And maybe he's still undefeated. Maybe they pull the trigger on undefeating him based on the plan, right? All right. Knowing that that Warrior is going to win, maybe they keep him undefeated until SummerSlam, and then that's the Warrior match. Yeah, Warrior beats him, wins the IC title back. Yeah, it just feels like Warrior. It wouldn't shock me if Warrior leaves because it's kind of like if he's not going to win there. Yeah, it's like where is he going to? Um, if it's twenty twenty three, where's he going to go? You know, if it's twenty twenty three, they'll make the hot baby face lose at WrestleMania. <laughs> And then maybe win the next year. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, he could. I mean, yeah, they could have just said, listen, we're just not ready yet. Hogan's still got a little bit more gas. I mean, could they have done Hogan beats Quake throughout 90? And then Warrior fights Hogan. They do the rematch at seven. They were thinking of doing that anyway. So yeah. Warrior spends the year climbing back up, destroys Perfect, wins the IC belt, and they run it back at seven. I mean, I think it's possible. I think, I think two people get get hurt the most in this and it's not warrior i think one is slaughter yeah um i think his title reign goes away uh there's no way slaughter is beating hogan at the rumble you know this is not happening um they may use slaughter as a foe for hogan but i don't see that being a um i don't see that being a title change and then i think savage may be affected too because if warrior leaves yeah uh that's done if savage and even if warrior doesn't leave like the whole crux of that story is savage wants the title back so he chases warrior warrior won't give him a title shot or whatever so he costs on the so belt weird. right so you're not going to run savage hogan back probably no. so what happens with savage and mania you're not probably going to do the story with warrior without the belt without savage costing warrior the title the career ending step isn't as it's not doesn't need to be there. Right. There's not much gravity behind it, right? Unless he costs him the Intercontinental, which I know is not quite the same. Because I think you could almost move Savage into that IC feud. If let's say Warriors the IC champion coming out of SummerSlam, let's say. You could almost move him into that IC feud in the later part of 90 and kind of run something similar to like like shot i don't know why <laughs> just considering he's a face um i see i think the whole thing I, I get that like they won't do this but i think the whole thing is much more interesting if they actually just switched all the roles right like if everything hogan does in 90 warrior does and if everything warrior does in 90 hogan does and you can still keep all the other pieces yeah. the only problem is the savage one at wrestlemania 7 because Man, Ho- Slaughter beating Hogan for the title at Royal Rumble is probably way more meaningful. And then right? Warrior beats, but Warrior beating Slaughter to me isn't. Like Hogan beating Slaughter only is cool because, like Hogan's already been champion. He just gets the belt back. He beats yeah. the Iraq guy. He's he's the American. Like Warrior to me, if he's gonna win it for the first time, it shouldn't be. Well, he, it's gonna, he's be, gonna be like be monumental. Hogan. Yeah, it's gonna be monumental. You know, it's gonna mean something. Well, that's matches at WrestleMania, right? You can probably still get to like, like Hogan loses the belt to Slaughter at Rumble and he he rematches at Mania, right? And he he beats him at Mania. 
Warrior if like Savage costs Warrior the Intercontinental title earlier in the year. And maybe you build someone up else as a consequence. Yeah. I think if Hogan wins, he just keeps it. Like I think he fuses with Earthquake, nothing changes. Oh, I agree. They either do Hogan Warrior 2 at Mania or they just do Slaughter built up as a ch- as a challenger. Um, or Quake can still injure Hogan even with the title and they blow off Hogan Quake at Mania. They could if do that. They get the title? Say it again, you broke up for a second. Sorry, if Ultimate Warrior isn't the champion, Hogan's the champion throughout 90, do you think they pulled the trigger on Quake? I don't know. I don't think they saw any of those guys big enough. Like, I think... But you didn't think they'd think Slaughter was big enough, right? No, I mean, here's what you really could do. It's... I mean, you could do the Hogan Rude thing at SummerSlam, like you said. Quake beats Warrior at SummerSlam and then injures Hogan right after SummerSlam. Hogan misses Survivor Series because it's like a who gives a fuck anyway. He wasn't going to defend yeah. the title there anyway. And then you do Hogan, Quake, and Mania. Hogan is champ and he just beats him and retains. Um, the only problem is there you're beating Warrior, you know, two straight big pay per views with Hogan yeah. and with Quake. Um, so you got to do something to redeem him. Maybe he wins the rumble. Maybe like I see for me. Yeah. Like for me, the whole point of the exercise would be to rehabilitate that warrior title run to actually give it something good. Right. And so I, I think that what you just laid out is plausible. I think you could also wait. Uh, seven to crown warrior. You right. just lose the savage thing and you can still keep everything else. So do you not even do well I guess like Hogan Warrior The question is what if Hogan beats Warrior? Because I'm thinking like what if you don't even do that at six? Is that kind of what you're saying? Or no. are you saying do it twice? Well I think Hogan Hogan squeaks out a win against Warrior. You could even make it controversial or whatever, right. like Maybe slightly heal from Hogan, or or made his foot under the foots on the under the rope. Yeah, the something it. where it's something where it puts into the yeah. question, and then Warriors next year is getting back there, right? right. So he takes out Perfect, yep. at at Saturn's main event. He takes out Earthquake, but actually takes him out, right. right? And then Hogan loses the title to Slaughter. I mean, even like he's it's okay to have him do that, and then later on you run Hogan Warrior as like the solidifier. You run Hogan Warrior at um, SummerSlam 91. Yeah. Because SummerSlam 91, the main event, like you can still keep that whole card and change the main event and make the show better. I just feel like it wasn't their style then. Like, oh, it's not. It's not. No, but, but right. more, that, more that Hogan Warrior is a mania main event for them. Like I don't, yeah. I don't see them punting that to a SummerSlam. If you look at the history of their SummerSlams at that point, right. there were tags and then Warrior Root. Like – When's the first time they really see a big money match for the main event of SummerSlam? It's a while. Brett Undertaker, I guess. 97. They had already fought, though. That's not like a money. I would Austin Taker, I think, would be like the first big like WrestleMania caliber main event. I agree with Austin Taker, but you think that's bigger than Brett Taker? With Brett with the Canada stuff and Sean yeah, as the ref? I mean, only because they had already just fought the Rumble the year before for the title. Like that one doesn't count. It sucks. Yeah. I'll, all right. I'll, I'll say ninety-seven <laughs> or ninety-eight are the first time where they have a Mania level main event um, that they blow off at SummerSlam. So I just don't think they. I don't think they're running Hogan Warrior at SummerSlam. You don't think? Here, here's another one. You don't think Luger Yoko is a in, in their eyes like? No. Because they were gonna make it again until the fans decided otherwise, right? In theory. Yeah, but it's not like a mega man. I don't. It... I agree. It's, it, they because... never run a big mega mania match at a SummerSlam. At, um, so the, uh, SummerSlam '91. It's not dissimilar to running Undertaker Brett at '97. That's six years later. Because they've already fought. But it's six years later. Yeah, and I, I know what you mean, but I'm just I'm trying to compare the moments, right? Like yeah. the moment, like because like if it was the first time they were fighting, I think you're right. Yeah, never yeah. Put all right. I guess fight. it'd be the second time. Yeah, it'd be the yeah. second time. So maybe, maybe it's all right. I, I don't. Um, but yeah, again, I don't know, and I don't want to trade. I wouldn't want to trade that. I wouldn't trade that Randy Savage match for anything. No. Because so I me, mean, I think your most plausible path that is... match is one of the absolute <laughs> like 100 greatest matches of all time, right? 
I think your most plausible path is Hogan Quake at Mania. I, I think Quake injures him still, and then they drag the blow off up until Mania. Um, maybe he just injures him later, not yeah. right after Mania. Maybe he does it like like I said, like after SummerSlam. Right. Um, I think you could still get to Warrior Savage, and because maybe it's Warrior is going to win the Rumble, and Savage costs him the. You know, maybe they do the title shot at the Rumble step sooner, and like he costs them that match and a chance yeah. at, at Mania, um, and then he wants revenge. You know, maybe you run if you're open to running Hogan Warrior two on a non Mania card. Do you do that at the Rumble, and Savage costs him the belt, costs him the chance at the Rumble. Hogan retains, Quake wins the Rumble. You do Hogan Quake. Savage yeah, you could do that, and and you could have like what's the reasoning for Savage then? costing warrior the match is it that he wants to be the one to take the title from Hulk maybe Hogan? it's inadvertent yeah maybe hogan is the one not giving savage a title shot savage goes to do something to hogan hits the warrior hits with the the warrior scepter. yeah yeah you, you gotta get that, like that gotta get that scepter shot in no matter <laughs> yeah. what yeah I, I, uh it's funny because it's like we always complain about how that year's booked and the lack of heels and the, but I, I feel like we're struggling to really come up with a concept that that's realistic i mean we could come up with crazy shit obviously but like that's realistic I, I think at the end of the day like this is an interesting one rick but i feel like at the end of the day it's just not much changes and um warrior gets fucked savage kind of gets fucked and i think at the end of the day we still just get to like flair when he comes in like right. hogan's just champion the whole time probably because in your world we are crowning warrior like we're not really getting the Hogan Flair stuff, and t- like we well, could still have Hogan Flair, like yeah, because but Flair's probably not winning the title unless you're just doing it with Warrior instead. You could do everything. So that's what I'm saying. You could do. I think you could do almost everything that Hogan did in that time period with Warrior, and I think it's better. Not because I think Warrior's better, but it's just new ground and different, right? right. Like, I, like to me, the problem with War- like I, I really to this day, and I'll probably go to my grave thinking. Warrior's title reign is probably better if he's the one who gets to take out Earthquake. Like, yeah. Earthquake brutalizes Hogan, and, like, Hogan can't handle him, and Warrior can, right? right? Now, I know that's not their style, but if you're actually going to build that star, to me, that feels like the step you want to take. In the same way that, like, Bob Backlund got fucked up by the Iron Sheik, and so Hogan came in and took care of him, you know? Like, and someone else did, and that's how you transfer that heat. And... Yeah, like I, I think even in in ninety one, if you have Warrior as the champion, I think Warrior and Undertaker is just as compelling a match at Survivor Series. Well, so this is my other wild card. Does does Taker? It's not outside the realm that they hot shot him even quicker. Like he shows up at Survivor Series ninety. Yeah. Do they put him in the fucking Mania main event? You know, what I mean, like they're they've done it before where they just like really ratchet guys up quickly. Um, I don't yeah. know when he signed. You could deb- debut him before, a little before, like if that's your plan as well. Mm. Um, you know, you could do that. Or do they do Taker Warrior at Mania? If Hogan's champion against Earthquake on top, you know, maybe they do that. And then Taker probably loses that match. And then you'd lose right. the whole streak. <laughs> yeah. Because when's the body bag? It's like right after that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Taker like... could win. I mean, I mean, he could win that match. Probably, probably not. not against Warrior. Right, so the body bag happens right after that. So like, it's not crazy that they run that feud that soon. I think he was already programmed with Warrior anyway. Yeah, but we never got that match, right? At least not on a paper. No, no, no. But my point is, like, they're doing it anyway. They're doing it anyway a month yeah. after Mania. So like, I don't think it's crazy to think they could hot shot him that fast to Mania to have a match with Warrior yeah. if they didn't want to run Warrior Savage without the that story behind it, right? Yeah, and then what's Savage doing and all that? Yeah, he just probably. My guess is he turns face before Mania and has like a retirement match with some, with some heel Quake. Right. Maybe he fights Quake at Mania. Oh no, uh, Quake's fighting Hogan. DiBiase. Maybe instead of the Virgil thing, we get Savage DiBiase. I don't know. Maybe, you know, it's whatever. all worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like no, no matter you, what. yeah, you need Warrior Savage. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least someone who could match that intensity. But there's not really anybody on the roster. Like I, th- I think Slaughter's a big loser. Slaughter and Savage. Like I don't think Slaughter ever gets that run without. Unless they, they don't believe in Quake enough still, and they say, okay, we'll turn Slaughter and make him Hogan's challenger, and Mania and Hogan just beats him. Like, I guess you well, can I wonder, swap Quake for him and our. Strategy. I guess, yeah. I was going to say, I wonder why they didn't do that anyway, but I guess it's because Warrior was champ. Right. Hmm. All right. Fun exercise. Yeah. I mean, leave some comments for sure. Like, if 
this is something we missed or didn't think of. You know, we try and keep these realistic to the timeline. Like, obviously, again, we could, you know, come up with some crazy shit that we could plug in here. But I think it's it's more interesting to at least try and stick to realism uh, within it. So yeah. um, let us know, though, what we missed. What, what would have happened throughout 90 and 91 if Hogan defeats Warrior at the ultimate challenge from my point of view. ultimate challenge um anyway check out everything north south connection like us subscribe uh we're here every saturday at old bard we have all kinds of cool stuff we watch every WWE world title change in history chronologically so we're going through that project right now we also do a monthly build the cards for our pay-per-views and uh tna never dies as well every month here on no holds bard so going through tna history brought that back for better or worse until then what if we were done.